up guys welcome back to design life let me know how your design life has been down in the comments i'd love to hear what you've been working on if there's anything cool share it with me down in the comments below all right guys so let me tell you guys about my design life this is very very important topic and it has to do with manufacturing processes all right so when you are a student you know you're you're learning all the different skills and what it takes to be an industrial designer right and when you're working on these projects that they're trying to simulate a real world scenario so you go through the typical phases of con concepting and developing and rendering and model making and all of this stuff the furthest phases that students usually stop at is the prototyping phase so this is when you have that realistic looking model of the thing that you design and it just literally looks like a real thing but that's kind of where it ends and the difference between a project like a student is that you don't really consider too much mainly about budget and price if you ever look at student projects they always cost a lot a lot a lot of money high-end thing that's gonna cost them you know million bucks to manufacturing one that's usually student projects right there and the difference is that professionals they do the same thing but they also have to consider price and manufacturing and usually they kind of go together okay so manufacturing processes is the processes that it takes to mass produce something like a product that you design you're not building just one you're not just building a prototype or you're not just building like a hundred or five hundred you're building probably a thousand couple thousand you you really have to design from the very beginning and really consider what manufacturing processes are you going to use when you are developing your product and so once you reach that point of when you're about to manufacture something, it's going to be very, very smooth and simple for you. Because if you don't, you're kind of just going to design something that's going to be really, really cool looking. And then it's either going to cost a lot, a lot of money to manufacture or it's going to pretty much be impossible to manufacture like on a mass scale because, you know, it takes it's way easier to create just one of something and it's way more hard to create a ton of something and be as efficient as possible and a bomb which means a bill of materials keep all of that as low as possible so that you can increase your profits that's that's the goal of mass production you make a lot each one is at low cost and you sell it for you know uh, four or five times as much as you made it something like that so that's the idea and that's why understanding mass manufacturing processes is very very important and it's something that you should learn as a student so when you finally become a professional designer when you get your first job you're going to be a rock star and they're going to like you a lot because you really design to uh, to be manufactured and not just design because it's pretty and because it's crazy and because it's cool you know you're really considering and being realistic so that's how that works but here's the thing too guys is that you don't want to be too processed manufacture uh, focused okay you totally don't want to be too focused because to be as efficient with manufacturing as possible which usually means being as cheap as possible keeping things on a low budget and then also creating like really flat uh, geometric shapes that have draft angles in it because it makes it easy to injection mold and pull out like you know you don't want to be always designing stuff like that and really putting too much emphasis on the manufacturing process you kind of want to play this little like walk a fine line it is manufacturer friendly but it also is kind of pushing the manufacturers a bit because you want to push them to where they will also be like you know okay we have to figure out how to how to manufacture this and do this at a low cost because we want to make the bid we want the win we want you know that job and so they're going to try to figure out for you too and i think with this mindset it creates kind of like an upward innovation rather than if you were to just design based off of manufacturing processes then you kind of hit a ceiling at some point or you, you're, you're really kind of limited at one point and this is kind of like advice that I received from an old school industrial designer that I recently started uh, working with and it's really really cool just to hear and learn from 
a seasoned industrial designer and hear all their thoughts and the things that they've learned. I really, really appreciate that and really value that as a young up and coming industrial designer. So if you guys are up and coming and you guys are watching these videos, great job with you guys. But that's about the end of this video and about manufacturing processes. Uh, you don't have to be a pro. You don't have to know every single process and know exactly what they do, but just generally have an idea. You kind of just develop this on your own naturally and you kind of learn what shapes that you can stick with and what how many materials and just little things like that but you know guys again don't be limited to the manufacturing processes especially as a student too you know it's okay I was talking crap about you know students and making things that aren't manufacturer friendly but that's kind of what you want to do as a student you want to have fun with it you want to create these really big cool awesome grand projects you know and then you want to start high and then kind of kind of get it a little bit more refined and tapered down from there because you know you're going to be doing that your whole career all right, so that's about it for this video. Guys, if you learned something, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also, leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about for the next video. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of my videos. And also, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos, definitely hit that little bell button so that you guys will get notified, guaranteed, faux show. All right, guys, also go to www.designlifebrand.com to grab yourself one of these awesome Design Life t-shirts. The sketchbooks are coming soon. Um, we're still kind of figuring things out and working with it. You know, this is kind of like my first real venture into a business. And so it's kind of, there, there's been a huge learning curve and it takes a while and I have a full-time job and I try to shoot these YouTube videos, try to do all of this stuff. And I really, really appreciate my business partner partner and girlfriend for really uh, uh, taking the lead in some of the things that I'm really weak at. So I really, really appreciate that. That's why it's super important to have a business partner because you are good at some things and they are good at other things. And so both of you guys together can complete um, a lot more than without each other. All right, guys, just a little quick tip. Catch you in the next video. Peace.